What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Stuff is getting hot and heavy everywhere in the world of tech, especially in the Samsung camp because we're coming within weeks now of the release of the Galaxy S22 series and the Galaxy Tab S8 series. So we're gonna dive into a little bit of that stuff. And then also we have some questions. So let's jump into the tech news. First, our first story of the day is about the Galaxy S22 Ultra and the S Pen. Because, you know, if you think back, there was rumors of them if they were gonna put an S Pen into the S22, it's gonna make the battery smaller or the battery wouldn't be as big. Well, this headline had me thinking a lot and it's coming from the folks over at sammobile.com. And as you can see, Galaxy S22 Ultra proves that the S Pen is not an issue to battery capacity. Because if you think about the battery in size, in size, inside of the Galaxy S22 Ultra, 5,000 milliamps is I think it's the same amount as it was last year, right? And now we have an S Pen in there. So obviously they're able to still fit a nice size battery inside of the phone. And we're still able to get probably better or equal battery life like we could last year. And now you have the N S Pen inserted into the device rather than being on the outside. So everybody wins here. If you don't wanna use the S Pen, whatever, but you still get the same battery. And if you do wanna use the S Pen, Great, you still get the same battery and you have the S Pen inserted, so it's a win-win for everybody. Next up is kind of what's been leaked so far for the Galaxy Tab S8 series within the last few days. And I kind of wanted to just give you a, a little rundown of things because we got a nice little tweet from Anthony who put everything into, uh, again, a nice little list of items here, so which is kind of cool. So what is leaked of the Galaxy Tab S8 series? It's now 52% faster on the GPU side than the Tab S7 series, so gaming is gonna be a lot better in that regard. New display on the Tab S8 Ultra, which is great. New, who doesn't want a new display technology built in there? Improved accessories, which is a needed thing, especially keyboard accessories. I'm hearing that the Tab S8 Ultra is a real, real, uh, well, somewhat real, <laughs> uh, laptop replacement. Improved speakers, that's awesome. Better sound, I am all for that. True 45 watt charging, so things are really gonna charge at that 45 watt speed, meaning I know within the S22 Ultra, for instance, you're gonna charge it about 13 minutes faster than you could on other 45 watt charging systems that Samsung has released in the past. So 45 watt faster charging is gonna mean shorter times that you have to actually charge up your device. One UI 4.1, which is their new software. New and improved S Pen, meaning you get potentially, I guess, new S Pen features as well. Improved battery life, this is all win-win. New front ultra wide camera so that when you're using it and you move around, it's gonna follow you around the room theoretically by zooming in and zooming out. So if you're on a video call, it's gonna be great. And improved DeX. Remember, DeX is their software that allows you to run your Galaxy Tab S8 like a, la a laptop so that you have windows and you have multiple windows and it's just, it's a, it's a more functional way to make it a laptop replacement and improved DeX is a, again, a win-win. There's so many win-win-win-win awesome improvements coming over to the Galaxy Tab S8 series. So if you're thinking about upgrading, these might be some great reasons to upgrade to that device. So there you guys go. That is your news for today. Your question of the day is, what is your favorite feature that I just listed there for the Galaxy Tab S8 series? For me, and what I think it's the, the improved accessories, that's one thing that held me back on the Tab S8 Ultra, or Plus I should say, was that the keyboard cover just wasn't that great. It was floppy when it was on a, a surface that wasn't completely steady. So I'm hoping that they really improved it this year with the Tab S8 Ultra. With that said, let's jump into the Q&A portion of the video and drop that boom. First question comes from Dave. Hey Greg, why doesn't China sell the Oppo Fold in the US? Seems like a no brainer. They can make so much more money doing this. I can't figure this out. I think it comes down to probably, they don't think they would sell that many, which is probably true. I mean, it's hard to get into America and make a splash, especially when most people have Samsung and Apple phones over here. I would guess it just comes down to economics. That's my major guess. Other than that, I don't think they have anything going on with the government or anything. So I think I think they're fine in that in that situation. 
So yeah, I think it just comes down to economics and they're probably not confident enough that they would actually make money. New York's finest, will we be able to pre-order the S22 Ultra the morning of the unpacked event or do we have to wait until the unpacked event is over? Usually it's right directly after the unpacked event is over or like within the last few minutes of the unpacked event. So I would say the same day as the unpacked event, but, but, but like minutes after, usually. Jerome Gold says, question about battery charging. If you have a phone that charges at 120 watts fast charging, over time, won't that affect the life of the battery more than a phone that charges at 25 watts? I know the 120 watt is faster, but doesn't it put more strain on the battery by pushing at that rate? I'm not completely sure. I probably wouldn't say you're wrong. I would expect maybe you're somewhat right, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't know. Will it kill the battery that much? Maybe, I, I really don't know. I know, I don't know. But I mean, I would guess also most people, the majority, maybe I'm wrong, majority of people probably wanna upgrade before the battery's completely toast anyway, so it probably doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good thing. It's something smart to think about. I just, uh, I don't know real, I know people are gonna be like, yes it does, but do they really know? Who knows? I, I haven't seen any, any, I haven't seen tons of articles that pop up in my feed that are like, oh, don't use fast charging. It completely kills, especially 120 watt. I know some people will say any fast charging kills it, but I guess it remains to be seen in some ways. Sachin Achara says, thank you, Greg, for great content as always. Question, how much of improvement in periscope zoom will be in the S22 Ultra? 100X zoom still suffers in S21 Ultra. Why Samsung's keeping four-year-old ultra-wide camera? It doesn't have OIS. Blessings to your day. Yeah, I don't know exactly how much of an improvement, if any, it will be, but I guess looking at some of their, their, their marketing, it seems like it improved a little bit. It seems like it's improved year over year, even by little bits of that 100X zoom. So I would guess just a tiny bit. I wouldn't expect a huge improvement like for clarity of 100 at 100X. And the last question comes from Silent Runner. I'm torn. I have the iPhone 13, but the deals they're offering for the S21 FE are insane. Should I switch over? Um, now, if, you do, if you're ready to upgrade, you're gonna upgrade right now. I think over the long term, the iPhone 13 probably is a better phone. But you get a lot with the I, the S21 Fan Edition. You get the 120 hertz refresh rate. You get a beautiful display. You get decent sound. You get updates for years to come. You know, in, in a lot of ways, or some ways it is, especially in the major ways, it is better than the iPhone 13. I would say if you're gonna keep, if you're gonna keep one of these phones, if you're gonna keep these phones for like three to five years, get the iPhone 13. If you're gonna upgrade in the next two years, get the S21 Fan Edition. Thanks for your question. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments down below with the word question as the first word, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.